Good morning fellow tiny gardeners. Just a very quick video. Um, I haven't been on here for ages. I've been so busy, but I thought I'd just have a quick catch up. Um, I just want to show you uh, what's doing well um, and what the garden disasters are. If you hear a load of scraping in the background, that's my next door neighbour digging his weeds up. So I uh, hope it doesn't affect this video too much. But yeah, as you can see, um, Dutch irises are coming up, so that's all good. Um, not too bad, but there's me King Edward potatoes. There are two in buckets there. And I've got my carrots there. Get out the shadows. You've got carrots in a bucket. Um, I've got radishes and bits of it. Just a quick look around here. More potatoes. And there's garlics. There's all sorts in there. Um, rhubarb. Um, I've got lettuces, etc. All doing well. This is all in my little containers and pots. Um, <coughs> more rhubarb doing well. I've got some beans and that to go in yet and uh, need to be put on but what I just wanted to quickly show you spinach it went great guns it was doing really well um, and then it got like if I can get out and show you it's really difficult anyone know what's happened there it's like a I don't know wilted moldy leaves um, I did leave him for a couple of days I couldn't get to the garden to water and they dried out but it, everything's bolted all my spinach um, it's all bolted it's all gone to seed so not quite sure what's happened there so i'm going to chop off what's edible and the rest of it i'm just going to rip that out and put something else in its place might put some tomatoes in the back or something um because i've got my salad lettuces down in the bottom of there so but on the upside um spring onions in there radishes in there going well and cabbage a couple of cabbages in there they're doing good me uh cauliflowers and these big leaves i didn't realize how big the leaves would get obviously this is my first year doing this um those are my swede and now they're doing really well in the bottom there with the roots and the actual edible vegetable part but i didn't realize the canopy that they were going to cause and overshadow everything else with the leaves so next year they'll go separately on their own somewhere um cauliflowers at the back they're all doing good um more rhubarb there that's doing well so uh, well so i've got the same similar wilty um thing on the leaves in there which is the uh this is my beetroot see um and i'm getting this on the leaves and i'm not sure what it is if anyone can tell me that'd be really good um i'll just have a quick little pan round try not to make you all dizzy and feel sick over here i'm not sure what, quite what you can see but um there's some runner beans in there um more radishes and oh i bought some sweet corn so they need to go in a in, in a pot or something in a container but um again there's that's more spinach but look at, if you look at the leaves if anyone can tell me what that is what's caused that um and even that that's bolted too so uh a bit of a disaster there um onions i mean they're doing all right in pots it, it seems that my root vegetables are doing well but me um above ground stuff apart from my salads um not so well so any comments would be appreciated um so i'm going to get on now because i've got a busy day i'm going to get rid of all the stuff that's not a lot of use bung it in the composter and put something useful in there so uh, yeah look forward to your comments and bye for now